Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 10 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about Databricks utilities overview and also we are going to discuss about how to list down the utilities available inside this Databricks utilities and for each one of the utility, if you want to know what are all the commands available, then how to list down them and how to display each command like what that command will do if you want to get that help how to do that so don't worry so this is like a, a starting video about this databricks utilities in our next upcoming few videos we are going to discuss about each and every utility in detail with the example so firstly think like databricks utilities is nothing but like a, a code library that has set of utilities inside it that will help you to perform some useful common task for example uh, you want to create parameters inside the notebook or you want to chain the notebooks that means one notebook should execute another notebook or you want to work with the secrets that means get the credentials from the key vaults and secrets or maybe you want to list down the list of the files inside one folder so all these small small things you can do very easily with the help of this data bricks utilities library inside that library there are as i said there are set of uh, utilities available uh, to make you this work to be done so let me practically show you that and also one more thing before we start with the practical demo this databricks utilities are actually available in python r and scala notebooks only in the sql notebooks you cannot use them okay so now let's go to my um, browser so here i have opened my databricks okay i opened databricks in the azure portal i have clicked this launch workspace and my workspace opened here and here if i go to compute menu I, there is one cluster already created by me called the demo cluster why because in databricks in any code if you want to execute you need to attach that notebook with the cluster and run it right so that is the reason i created a cluster already so now let's hit this create button and let's try to create a new notebook and maybe let's name it like db utils notebook okay and default language is python and this notebook i am connecting with this cluster demo cluster what is available already and let me hit this create button to create a new notebook which is in a python now if you remember i said this databricks utilities has set of utilities already that will help you to do your job so if you want to see what and all the utilities available inside this databricks utilities then what you can do you can use this db utils dot help function on top of this db utils and i am pressing shift enter to execute that cell so the moment i does that this will clearly tell me this module called db utilities has all these attributes or all these utilities that will help you to work and do some common task so for example this credentials uh, uh, utility will help you to interact with the credentials uh, this data ut uh, uh, utility will help you uh, understanding and interacting with the data sets and this file system utility will help you to work with the databricks file system like inside the databricks file system or inside the mount point uh, inside some folder what are all the list of files are available what are all the list of subfolders available everything you can list down actually so each each utility here whatever you are seeing here it contains set of commands using that commands you can achieve that okay so if you don't know what is module and all in python please watch my python playlist there i have explained what is module and what is attribute what is function everything okay so basic python language understanding is important when you are working with the azure databricks so i have created a python playlist as well so please try to watch that uh, python playlist to make yourself familiar with the python coding so now this help function on top of this db utils module is giving me list of the utilities available inside this db utils module now for example inside this fs module what and all the commands or what and all the functions available to make my job so if you want to know that what you can do use the same thing db utils inside this db utilities fs that means file system module or file system library or file system utility we can call it everything so here use this help function again and to run this cell either you click here or shift enter so this is going to execute my cell once again if you see here you have the detailed explanation about this file system utilities and inside this file system utilities what and all the commands or functions available it is clearly listed down here so cp command will be helped to copy file from one directory to another directory inside the databricks file system or inside from the mountain pad 
and also for example this mkdir this will help you to create a directory right and if there is something called ls this will help you to list down the contents of the directory for example inside the directory what are all the files and folders are there it will list down everything so like this every every utility whatever you are seeing here under this db utilities module will has some functions or commands that will be very useful when you are real time working so what we will do in our upcoming sessions we will take each video for each utility for example uh, to explain this file system utility i will be creating one video and inside this utility whatever the commands we have here i will try to practically run them and show you so this is only like a overview video now for example let's assume i want to know what this ls command or function will do so even that is possible to see using help then of course it is possible if you see this uh, uh, slide here so under db utilities under fs file system utility help function so on top of that i am using a help function and to the help function i am passing to which command like about which command you want to see the information so like this you can do that so let me practically show you this so here in the another cell i am executing db utilities file system now help function to the help function i am passing maybe i want to know about this ls command now hit shift enter so this is going to get the information about this ls command everything so this is like a by reading this documentation or by reading this content about that command you will come to know what exactly this command will do and then make use of this command accordingly as per your real time scenario requirements right so that's it in this video this video is just to give you high level idea about there is something called db utilities module in the databricks and that module have set of uh, utilities that will help you to do many tasks and each utility has their own set of functions so in our upcoming video we are going to discuss about each utility one by one and inside the each utility whatever the functions we have or whatever the commands we have we are going to execute them practically and see how it actually acts and behaves thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much